Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Hia Toys Exquisite Mini Predator 2 Boar Predator figure, which, very much like the Elder Predator, which we already reviewed, depending on when I upload these things, it's a very impressive figure. It looks awesome. It's a, it's a really nice release at a very small scale, so it's very impressive in very many ways. However, there are a couple of issues which we definitely need to discuss. So if you're into collecting this line, you're definitely gonna wanna check this video out. So let's go ahead and get him off the stand and take a closer look. And this guy stands just about 12 centimeters to the very top of his head, which makes him just about four and three quarter inches. So very small figure, tons of detail. Aesthetically speaking, these guys are incredibly impressive. The mesh paintwork is very clean. All the armor is shaded. The skin has all these different tones and speckles and things. It's a very, very aesthetically pleasing figure and just simply for size relativity, not because I'm comparing the figures because there's no comparison to really make here, just so you know how small this actually is. There it is up against one of NECA's small predators. This is one of the smallest ones they've made and he comes up to his hip. So I know it's hard to say that this is very small when it's the only thing on camera, but when it's up against that, it kind of puts it into perspective. So very small figure, tons of detail. Aesthetically speaking, this guy gets a nine out of 10. It is gorgeous. The metallics are nice and metallic. The skin is very skin-like. I like it. I like it a whole lot. As far as accessories go, we have the two gripping hands which come on them in the package, two open hands, and then we get a collapsed spear and an open spear, a throwing disc, and a display stand with two little connector pieces to connect the display stand to other display stands. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Now we get to talk about the articulation, and unfortunately, just like the Elder Predator, most of it's good, but some of it is really bad, and it's a problem. So for the head, uh, I believe it's a ball peg at the top of the neck and at the bottom of the neck, but really just the neck itself wants to move on this guy, but actually that's fine. You still get all your posability, except for looking up and down doesn't, well, down's fine, but up not so much. But really nice posability, there's no backpack to get in the way, and the predlocks are nice and loose, so you can move his head very nicely. I like that a bunch. For the shoulders, we have our ball hinge, which rotates all the way around. You can bring the arms pretty far up. The shoulder pads do get in the way a little bit though. That's not ideal, but it's probably as good as it's gonna get on this scale. Bicep swivel on this side is stuck on mine, but you do get a bicep swivel in there, so that's fine. Single jointed elbow, which isn't quite 90 degrees. So limited, but kind of standard for this scale. You get a wrist swivel at the gauntlet, and then you get a ball peg at the wrist itself. Diaphragm joint on this guy is a little bit nicer than the Elder Predator. Has a little bit more rotation, a little bit more lean. All around it's, I guess the rotation's about the same, but it does lean at least a little bit better it seems. So that's pretty good. These are soft and floaty, so you can bring the legs out to the side pretty far. That is not too bad. Going forward, you have really no problems. Going back, not at all. Thigh swivel is fine. Double jointed knees are fine. And then the ankle is a swivel, which doesn't want to work on that side or that side. And we have a hinge, which also doesn't want to work. So the ankles are absolutely awful. That's really, really unfortunate. They should have just used ball pegs because otherwise the figure is more than acceptable. Hey, the hand came off. It's just a ball peg, very tiny. So when I pressed on it, it fell off. It's not a problem. So anyway, the figure's articulation is actually fine everywhere except for the ankles. So I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. The ankles really just destroy the posability. So I have to be a little harder on that. And it's very disappointing to me because the figures are so fantastic otherwise, given the scale and size and well, that's the same thing. Given the scale, you know, it, it's what you would expect, if not better, except for the ankles. They really tank the figure, unfortunately. So. My final verdict on this guy is if you can live with the ankle situation the way it is or figure out a way to work around it or do whatever you want to do, then the figures are fantastic. They're gorgeous and they're well enough articulated and come with plenty of accessories. But because of those ankles, it's definitely a problem. So I'm going to only give it a very subjective based on what you want to do with the figure, a six out of 10. You could easily make it a higher rating because everything else is good, but those ankles are definitely a problem. So it's kind of disappointing in that regard, but otherwise the figure is incredibly impressive. So there you go, guys. You're gonna to have to decide for yourself what matters to you. So thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. I would really appreciate that. It helped out a whole bunch. And if you're not subscribed, you might want to think about doing that because I do have new videos out just about every single day. And I've got thousands of other videos on the channel to help you make good buying decisions. So make sure you check out all of that good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.